Hi, this is John with Chest Freezer Cold Plunge, and I am here at Penguin Chillers headquarters and their manufacturing facility. And I just wanted to give you an introduction of a few new products that they have just created and uh, are currently uh, working on production. So uh, the first thing we've got is um, a system that's gonna work with the ice barrel. If you already have an ice barrel, uh, what's great about this is that they've got a 7500 BTUs with a three quarter horsepower. And uh, the great thing about this chiller is that it's designed, uh, the face is all stainless steel, so it will work outside. Now, uh, always the more you can protect your equipment from the elements, the more efficiently it's gonna work, the longer it will last. But it's okay to just have this as is. You don't need to put a case around it like you would with other chillers. A couple of other awesome things about this chiller is that they have uh, the in and out uh, on the back, and there is a quick disconnect. But this is the easiest possible setup you can have for any kind of connection to a hose to a chiller. Yeah, boy, it, it does not get any easier than that. <laughs> that is truly awesome. So as far as getting the inlet and outlet to the ice barrel, we're going to take the water out of the drain, which is what we have been doing previously. However, they've also got this quick disconnect hose, so you're not having to uh, fiddle with plumbing or fittings or adapters, which is awesome. So that is your intake. For the outlet, we've got a filter that they've created this bracket for, which is really awesome. And the best part about this is that it completely eliminates the need to drill a hole into your ice barrel, which A, a lot of people are feeling nervous about, but B, it also avoids the warranty of the product. So the cool thing is that it sits right here with the lid, the existing lid. So um, you've got the handles here for the lid, and the way this works, the bracket simply mounts on the inner edge of the lip, and it's super simple to install, right? So you just take it off, or you're putting it on here, and it just clips down, and then you put the lid on, and you're gonna have a really nice cool waterfall feature, and um, no holes to drill. So this is the package for the ice barrel. Uh, next two things we're gonna talk about are the two new tubs that Penguin Chillers is offering with their new cold therapy chiller, and uh, we'll give you some details on that. Hey, John with Chest Freezer Cold Plunge here, and I'm introducing today the Penguin Chillers new chiller with the stock tank. Uh, this is a really awesome stock tank. Um, uh, we've, we've already talked about the chiller in another video. Uh, I'll give you just a brief recap. This is a three-quarter horsepower. It's putting out 7,500 BTUs, uh, current chilling capacity. It has these awesome quick disconnects in the hoses, and it's got the pump built into it, so you don't have to worry about Connecting a pump and doing all that plumbing, it really eliminates uh, a whole other set of complexities. The hoses go into a filter that's mounted on the back of the tub. So again, just give you a quick look at how these quick disconnects work. That's the easiest plumbing connection I have ever made. That's pretty awesome. There we go. These tubs are also very easy to move. These things are roughly about 30 pounds, so uh, easy to get it in place and uh, move it as you need it. This is a 100 gallon capacity tub. When you're using it, you'll probably fill it to about 80 gallons. Uh, it's got a lot of room in it. This is a really big tub. It's a very sturdy tub. This thing is actually designed out of HDPE, which is a very sturdy plastic. It's impervious to ozone. You can put chlorine in here. Whatever kind of method of sanitation you want to use, this tub is going to hold up. There's a lot of room in here. You can get your shoulders under the water. Uh, you can do head dunks. You know, backwards or forwards, however you want to do it, there's a lot of room in this tub, and it's very sturdy. So um, this is the uh, the least expensive new offering, the complete package uh, from Penguin Chillers. The only thing you need to do here is to work out uh, what you're going to do for the cover. Uh, this tub is not insulated, so do keep that in mind. And um, I think that's about it. It does have a built-in drain, but there are two separate ports on here for the intake and the return, so that's also uh, completely separate in terms of the plumbing and how everything is hooked up. Hi, this is John with Chest Freezer Cold Plunge, and I'm here to introduce Pickling Chiller's new cold therapy package with the insulated tub. So we've already talked about the tub that was not insulated. This one has two inch thick insulated walls, probably a little bit thicker than that, and it's also got a lid on it. So if you want to talk about a system that's going to be super efficient with uh, just keeping the water cold and reducing the workload on the chiller, this is the one that's going to do it. The lid has two rubber clasps that are easy to pull off and on, and when the lid comes open, 
So it's got this really great catch that's here. And what it does is it locks when it opens. So this thing will not close on its own accidentally. As a matter of fact, it requires two hands for it to close. You pull this in, and the lid comes down like that. So it's a really great design. Uh, the tub itself is pretty large. So you want to get in here to do your, uh, your regular cold plunging. You can easily get your shoulders underneath. The tub itself is going to hold 100 gallons of water. And then once you get in, it will displace water up to the top. And uh, you can do your head dunks. Again, whichever direction you want to go, backwards or forwards. And uh, there's, just, there's a lot of room in here. So let's talk about how everything is connected. We have the chiller, which we have talked about in other videos. Uh, this is the three quarter horsepower chiller that does 7,500 BTUs. We have the quick disconnects on the chiller that come with the package. So these things are the fastest, easiest uh, fitting or way to get a tube connected to the chiller, as well as the filter and the tub on both the return and the inlet on the intake. So uh, this is it. Let me know if you have any questions.